Hi you guys, it's time for my favorite video of the month. It is the extreme couponing to extreme donating. It is time to donate again. It is that time of month. Hopefully this is a reminder for you to start donating and getting some things together to help people around you because with this skill of couponing, we're able to help other people and we just want to remind you to do that. So this collab, say hi Scarlett. Hi. This collab was started by Jeff Stays with Coupons and he invites some of us um, every month to get do together I and donate. I watch Mommy and Me Cookie Mayos <laughs> on my below? <laughs> I'll, Scarlett wants me to link below our cooking videos. I did a sun basket and we cooked all the meals together. And she's really proud of those videos and really likes the food. So check those out. Thanks for the plug, Scarlett. <laughs> but anyways, um, we've gotten some... Um, Jeff has organized people every month to come together and donate and share with you how we're donating. Thank you. Can you go play in your room? <laughs> Thank you. Um, how we're donating, what we're donating, and give you guys some ideas of how you can help your... Um, communities and neighborhoods and friends and family through couponing so there are amazing people that are in this collaboration I'm gonna link all of their channels below so check out where they're donating this month and I'm gonna share with you where I'm donating so it is back to school time already if you can believe it it is August and school is starting before you know it where we live Scarlett um, starts school in two weeks on August 14 um, and Savannah started school already so I have um, I did a video about her school lunches that I'm going to be trying to do every week with both the kids. But she started preschool already, so it's year-round. I could start her whenever we started her in August. So I'm going to be making a donation to her preschool because I was talking to the director. And there are just some things that they need and could use. Um, so I went through my stockpile and pulled aside some things that could be useful for a school. So if there's a school near you... You don't have to have a child going there. I'm sure the school would gladly accept any donations um, to see if you can help out some families with um, some school supplies. So school supply sales are going to be coming up later in like September, October. But for now, kids are going back to school and the schools do need some stuff right away. So especially preschools, we don't have a list of school supplies for her. It's a private preschool, but they are in need of some items, and I asked them if any of these items could help, and they were gladly appreciative of these things. So these are some ideas of things that you can donate to a school from your stockpile. So the first thing is paper towels. They use paper towels for their snacks. So they have a paper towel, and they get a snack every day during preschool. Usually it's like goldfish crackers um, or some fruit or like crackers or something like that, dry cereal, stuff like that. Um, so they use a paper towel for all the kids. Um, so these are some paper towels. And another thing, speaking of snacks, is some dry cereal. So if you're picking some cereal for a school, you want to pick something that's more healthy. Um, schools generally like these plain Cheerios or the multigrain Cheerios. The multigrain Cheerios do have sugar. So make sure you check with the school if those are okay. But these Cheerios are always gladly accepted by preschools because there's no sugar, it's whole grain, um, and they're gluten-free now, which is great, so they're allergy-friendly. Um, so I have three boxes of this. You know as a couponer, you have boxes and boxes of, of cereal, so make sure you check those expiration dates. If any are starting to creep up on you, maybe get rid of that cereal or um, eat those ones and donate the ones that are good for a long time, whatever you want to do, but um, make sure you go through your cereal because schools are definitely going to use that, especially preschool. Um, another thing that you can donate from your stockpile for schools is some hand soap. So I have a soft soap and I have a dial soap. Um, these are just good for the bathrooms. Kids use way more soap than they need. So um, the schools go through a lot of soap, especially preschoolers that are learning how to go potty and wash their hands and stuff. They use a lot of soap. So some soap is a really great thing for a school, and I bet they'll be very appreciative of that. Um, another thing are these Band-Aids. I got these on clearance at Walgreens. They were a whopping 29 cents for 60 antibacterial Band-Aids. Um, a lot of times at school, if the kid gets hurt, they just put a Band-Aid on it. Thanks, hubby. And they sent home an ouchie report. I'm sure Savannah's going to get lots of ouchie reports and use her good share of these band-aids because she takes after her mama and um, we need a lot of band-aids. So one box is going to the school. 
Um, I just picked up these Crayola crayons just to give you a heads up on these crayons. If you're picking up crayons for schools, you want to try to get the ones that are the teacher's original colors because it can get kind of confusing if you buy like bold colors or neon colors or um, just the different hues of the colors, especially for the younger ages that are still learning like what red looks like and what blue looks like and everything. Um, so you want to get the teacher's ones because these are going to be what they're learning at school and what they're going to be using at school. So I picked up a couple of those. I think they were at Target for 50 cents, which is really good. I also like to keep one box on my own separate just for homework um, that they don't use for play coloring and stuff because they stay sharper and um, just better quality for their homework. And the next thing I have are some puffs. So this is five boxes of puff tissues. If you didn't see my Walgreens video from this week, today on Saturday is the last day of the sale where you can buy 10 boxes of puffs for 99 cents each and you'll get 5,000 points back, making it $5 for 10 boxes of puffs. There's a 25 cent coupon um, on your card on the Walgreens app that you can send your card and clip it digitally to get 25 cents off, makes your out of pocket a little bit less. And there's a PNG coupon that you can use. And I heard there's printable coupons that you can use, but coupons.com hates me right now and it won't print the barcode. So I don't know what to do. Um, I've tried from my husband's phone, from my phone. I've like deleted it and re-downloaded the app. It's just all wonky for me right now. So I had no extra coupons, but it was still a really good deal. I used points. You can use points with this deal. Um, so using those points to get these tissues for the kids because it's about to be running no season. Fall is approaching, even though it doesn't feel like it. Um, and these tissues are going to be needed at school because you know kids and their runny noses all the time. They don't even have to be sick. They just get runny noses just for fun. And the last thing I'm sending to school is this juice. So like I said, with preschool, they get snack time and they have juice and a snack every day at school. And I got this 100% white grape juice. You want to make sure you're getting 100% juice for the little kids so they're not getting all that um, just plain sugar. All the sugar in here, there's a lot of sugar in here unless they dilute it, but all the sugar is natural sugar. It's only from the grapes. So there are three of these and these are from, where are these from? Walgreens clearance. You know how much I love wandering around Walgreens and looking for orange stickers for clearance. So that is everything that I'm donating to Savannah's preschool. It's not required of me to give these items, but I just wanted to go through my stockpile and see what items I had that could benefit a school. So hopefully this gave you some ideas of how to help a school near you. You don't have to have a kid that goes there. Just contact the school. Let them know you're a couponer and you get all these things for cheap and free and would like to help out the school if possible and see if they're interested in any of the items. And I'm pretty sure they're going to accept that offer. So give this video a thumbs up. If you enjoyed it, make sure you check out everyone linked in the comments or in the description box. I always mix those two up. In the description box below so that you can see where everyone else is donating. I can't wait to watch all the videos myself. Um, if you go over there to their videos, tell them that I sent you. And give Jeff's video a huge thumbs up for getting this um, collaboration going. It's been over a year, and we have donated so much all together as a group and inspired so many people to donate. And I just thank Jeff for that with his warm, warm, huge, huge heart. Jeff, thank you so much for including me in this every month. I love you, and I hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time with another video, and I'll see you next month with another donation video. I won't miss out on that.